Greetings people, it's uh, Jared here, Wolf Kane one back to do another Transformers review. This is going to be my 250 subscribers massive, massive thank you video. So, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into this, and I'm going to be doing Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, as, well, the title page would have given that away, really. Now, this was the only Revenge of the Fallen figure I was interested in buying. Um when the lion first came out. Having bought it, I'm, I'm willing to look into one or two others just to see if they're any better. Um, very, very nice alt mode, Corvette Stingray concept. If we turn the back of the box round, it's not exactly what you get in the box. This is clearly the prototype they've taken a picture off and the prototype doesn't always transpose well to the, what they end up giving you. It's um, Less paint apps, less attention to detail, but I'll, I'll come on to that in the review. Um, Pick this guy up for about a tenner in uh, Sainsbury's. I was quite happy with that. Um, not a lot of characterisation in the film. I think they were too quick to um, show off his alt mode in the first 30 seconds, or look what we've got. Um, and then they did nothing else with him for the rest of the film. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight on and show you the figure itself. Right. Here's Sideswipe from the Revenge of the Fallen line. He is modelled on a Corvax uh, Stingray prototype um, concept vehicle that they're thinking of using for the next uh, design, the Corvax Stingray. Interestingly enough, Hasbro have already released a, a reissue of this, uh, a repaint, into red and called him Swerve. I don't know why they just didn't do him red and call him Sideswipe from the outset. You know, just like having painted red, that would have been a better throwback to G1. I mean, if they, everyone naturally assumed that if they were going to do uh, a Corvette Stingray, then it was going to be tracks. Didn't pan out that way. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I mean, the one thing I do really, really like about this um, mode, apart from the overall general aesthetic design, because I love the concept car, I think it's absolutely beautiful, um, is the fact that at some point down the line, it looks like Hasbro managed to... Um, sort out the problem of plastic wheels not fully rolling. Show you what I mean. You can actually hear the wheels rolling and it does actually move. Uh, the G1s, uh, I know quite a lot of G1s, the um, plastic wheels, they just slide rather than roll. There does actually be, seem to be some rolling motion in these, which is nice. Um, my overall complaints with this mode is the side panels um, do have a little bit of classics Ironhide look about them where it looks like he's been involved in some sort of really horrific car accident and they've been panel beaten back into shape and for some reason when I transform this back into car mode I cannot get this back section to stay down for some reason it's being a bastard I'm going to admit something okay it took me 20 minutes to get this transformed from robot to car when I first got it. I could not, I had to use the instructions, and I, I, shame on me, shame on me. I had to use the instructions and I could not fucking follow them at all. They made no sense. Um, and even now the um, transformation fucks me occasionally. Let's move on to that and I'll tell you exactly what I mean. Um, okay, we're going to start by trying well, you've got a detached... Oh, this is the other thing as well. Very, very nice on the top. Turn it upside down. Oh, you've got a pretty good idea of everything that's going to happen. For the most part. Oh, look, I think they might be his legs. They might be his arms. You would be absolutely right. Um, you've got to detach this middle thing here. Which frees up certain areas. Like uh, pulling down the front sections just here, the front wheel arches, they've got to detach, well not detach, but they've got to come away. Um, and then you've got to do the same with these back wheels and these underneath sections here, you've got to pull them out to just like this. So by the time you've got to this stage, it looks like, you know, it should have been involved in a high speed collision. Okay? Now, where where do you go from here? Uh, pull these out like this. 
uh, lift up the top of the car so everything comes away separate the forward bonnet and split apart you know um, it's such a fucking pain in the ass those uh, forward sections that you detach first of all pull those down to the front like this and then is that the right way of doing it? No, I've done that the wrong way. Brilliant. So, so just, yeah. Um, trying to talk you through this, I, that's it, you've got to rotate and then fold it down. The back spurs just move to the side, so that will form the feet. Okay, so that's the bottom half of the uh, robot done. Um, then, we have to sort of Detach that so it folds back and then bring back the back of the car. Flip up the head like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a fucking. It's a mess. Pull out the hands if you can. I can't. I've got to use a fucking pen or something because they're always stiff. Just like this. This is a fucking... I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. This is an abomination of a review. Um, there we are. That's the fucking arms. Happy days. Uh, and then you've got to fuck around with this back piece. Um, by m moving these things round and then moving them up to the sides and then spinning it all round. And right, Okay, so that's basically your robot. Now, the last thing you've got to do is you've got to move the entire torso section back and then little port there, little post just here, you've got to connect the two together. Which is always fun! Get in! Cunt. Right, bear with me, because that fucking deserves a cigarette. Sideswipe. That's the robot mode. The robot mode looks very nice, except for the fact that whatever fucking genius came up with this design flaw, this port and post mechanism that you're supposed to snap back and clip into, look, nothing happens. It doesn't stay in. It's very, very tricky to try and get Sideswipe to stand up under his own weight on the grounds that the feet are badly designed. Um, you know, it's, it's quite interesting. His, his weapons come down like this. Yeah, that's all fucking well and good. I do like the head sculpt. I would have liked to have seen a lot more paint apps on the face. The light piping is shite on this because of all the fucking back stuff you've got going on here. The light piping is terrible. You've got a little bit of this fucking mecha live stuff in the knee. That really means absolutely fuck all to me. I should have really, really liked this figure. This figure should have been fucking great. The problem is, is there's just too many things. Look, this isn't staying in place. This is ridiculous. More paint apps on the body, please. It would have been like seeing a nicer contrast of the light silver and like a dark metallic silver. Of course, Hasbro are cheaping out there. It just could have been something so much better than what it is. The, the transformation for this deluxe figure is unnecessarily complicated. Folding bits round like the fucking... The entire top of the car is all back here. That is the entire front of the car. Interesting how it all folds away, but I would have actually liked to have seen more of this where it counts around the arms and the legs. And you know, you, it's another example of. I'm sure Hasbro meant well when they did this. I really do, but he's not as good as he could have been. He's really, really not, and it's a shame because. I kind of had high hopes for that figure. So this is, uh, thank you very much for watching this review, ladies and gentlemen, and watching me get stressed out. This is uh, Gerard Wolfgang1 saying thank you to my 250 subscribers, and I will be back soon with another review. Until then, people, thank you very much. Take care of yourself.
Judge me, I won't 